naked because I like to keep it real loud because that's how I've always been known to be. Welcome to Check Yourself Before You Wreck Yourself. This is the 12 steps to recovery and we are learning them one day at a time. Well, I didn't have music playing again today. That is because I want to send the message that life can be lived without alcohol, just like I can groove without music. So I reference and recommend the 12 steps because they are what helped me start managing my life. I also know that these steps help thousands of others start managing their lives. So subscribe if you're wanting to start managing your life. The 12 steps are a spiritual foundation for a path to recovery. In my opinion, that sounds like a program to believe in to start managing my life. And that's all this is. It's just my opinion on something that I found to help me and I hope that it helps someone else. I have seen others reach out specifically for support with sobriety. I do know the destruction and damage that alcohol causes and because it's in my nature to step in when I see struggle, here I am providing you with the 12 steps. This is basically just a guide to make you take action to start looking at your behaviors and how they are preventing your growth. Basically, they make you realize how fucking embarrassing you have been. Today, we're on step nine. And that is made direct amends to such persons wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. This is also about taking responsibility. This means you'll need to work through the mistakes and denials of your past. This part of the process will help you grow. It is extremely overwhelming and very scary, but you're going to do it and you're going to grow from it. This is not about you getting away with what you did. And it's not about the recipient accepting your apology. They might not be here for you to make amends with. They might not want to hear from you. And if you do get the chance to speak your amends, they might not accept it. Keep in mind, the people you're making amends to are the ones that watched your shit show. They can't unsee the abilities that you have to be as shitty as you were. Don't let that stop you. This is about you feeling how shitty it is to have to be the person to make these amends to begin with. And that's all these steps are, is to basically get you to look at the type of human that you have been portraying and making sure that you keep in check with being a good human. You know, because it's very overwhelming and scary, I like to try to suggest simplicity. So for instance, an apology or making amends could sound like, I'm sorry for the way I acted when. I'm sorry that I did X, Y, or Z. And when they're not available, either they're, they're passed on or you have no way of making amends with them, this is about clearing your conscience so that you can empty that space and start filling it with love and gratitude. So you need to still clear that and you need to look in the mirror and you need to make amends with yourself. Because you are the one that allowed yourself to become that person to begin with. And you owe yourself a number one apology to make amends with yourself. You will never be that fucking person ever again. So subscribe. 
so that you can learn the steps to becoming a better human. Step nine is about taking ownership. Own your shit. That's my opinion of ownership. Owning your shit. Making amends isn't about excuses. It isn't about the why. It isn't about the validations. It's not about the reasons behind your actions. The fact is, is that you did it. So now own it. If you don't want to own it, then don't do it. And, you know, that is the whole process of all of these steps um, is making you own your behavior. Take responsibility. Um, stop creating the shit storm. Then you'll let love in. Your purpose in life is to live in love rather than live in fear. And if you're doing these steps, you're doing your insteads, which is a list of what you love. Therefore, you're living in love. Now, with this step nine, taking responsibility, you're creating space for love to exist. And if you live it, you will become it. And you are worth it. You are so worth it that I started a Facebook group called Check Yourself Before You Wreck Yourself 2.0. And we got lots of support coming from many different directions on there. And I also have Facebook Naked and Loud. You can DM me on. You can also find me on Instagram, Check Yourself 2.0. So if you're looking for support with sob sobriety, there's lots of resources you can find me at. Your homework. Here is your home. This is where you live. And the work is the 12 steps. Step one, admit and accept what is fucking up your life. Two, believe there is a solution to what is fucking up your life. Three, have faith that one of those solutions will work for you. Four, have the courage to look at your actions. Five, be honest about the consequences of those actions. Six, get ready to have those actions removed. Seven, remove that character. Eight, get ready to take responsibility for those actions. Nine, take responsibility. Own your shit. Let's get naked. Let's get loud. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.